In this video, you're going to be finding out, should you exercise if you have, quote in, quote out, adrenal fatigue? So stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's me, Amir. So I got a question from Ryan, and Ryan is wondering, Amir, should I exercise if my adrenal glands are burnt out? Well, let me answer you, let me answer this question in a very simple way. First of all, this whole idea of adrenal fatigue is kind of misleading in the fact that they're telling you that your adrenal gland just stopped working. Well, they don't stop working. Uh, it's, what's very important is the timing of cortisol response, so your circadian cortisol rhythm, also in conjunction with other hormones such as DHEA, testosterone, and estrogen, okay? So let's get that out of the way. There's really no such thing as all of a sudden your adrenal glands go kapuput. There are certain cases such as Addison's, which is a complete different story, but I'm pretty sure you don't have Addison's. Anyways, getting back to the whole situation about should you exercise if your adrenal glands aren't functioning properly? Well, that's a really great question, and I have a couple of answers for that. Number one, it depends on what kind of exercise are you talking about, right? Exercise is so generic, very black and white, right? There's different forms of exercise. For example, mobility, that's exercise. Are you pushing your body very hard? No. So what is mobility? Well, mobility is joint mobility, moving around, Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga. This is mobility, that you actually promote the active uh, movement of your joints, ligaments, and tendons in your body. So when can you utilize joint mobility within your exercise regimen? Well, always. For example, myself, I use joint mobility at least three times a week in conjunction with my full-time training, okay? What other types of exercise do you have? Well, you have high intensity, you have CrossFit, you have strength training, okay? These are all different exercises. So what do these different exercises have to do with how your adrenal glands respond to your everyday uh, lifestyle uh, actions? Well, it's quite simple, right? So for example, say you do wake up and you always feel under the weather. I mean, your energy is just screwed up you don't feel yourself and you feel like you got hit by a bus every single day what do you do you know it's a it's a great question do you go to the gym you know do you bust your ass in the gym again and you know get worse or do you stop completely and that's the problem where i see it people paint it kind of black and white do i think you have to stop exercise if your adrenal glands aren't functioning properly hell no Exercise is super beneficial. It stimulates GLUT4, it stimulates longevity factors in your body, increases your immune system, uh, increases actual circadian response for proper healthy sleeping cycles, okay? That being said, it's very important how you plan your workout regimen or your exercise regimen in conjunction to how your body's physiological response to cortisol is. So actually, before even starting a new uh, exercise regimen, get yourself an ASI, Adrenal Stress Index, a uh, four point saliva test, okay? There's many practitioners out there that do it. Uh, it's fantastic, and that way, we can measure your actual circadian rhythm for your cortisol and how your adrenal glands are functioning in reality to your hormones, very important. Once you have that information, the ASI information, then you can actually create a specialized exercise regimen. For example, Say your adrenal glands are not pumping out enough cortisol at the right time. Well, maybe then is a great way to incorporate maybe more of a slow-paced strength training regimen uh, during uh, during the nighttime and maybe even high pace during the day, like a hit, right? So you're getting two birds with one stone, kind of stimulating your cortisol during the day, which is what you want, and at nighttime for more like immune system boosting effects, you can do a mixture of strength training with some joint mobility, okay? So it's really an individual uh, approach. So when I hear people talk about adrenal fatigue, it's a great umbrella term. Like it's a fantastic way to uh, address something, but it's kind of false in the whole pretense that everyone is unique and it's not really are your adrenal glands working or not, is how they're responding physiologically speaking to your environment, okay? That being said, you know, I hope you, I answered your question. Once again, it's very unique. Get that testing, figure out what you're gonna do from that testing, then design a specific protocol. Strength training, mobility, uh, high intensity training. I hope that answers your question. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video about adrenal fatigue and exercise. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, leave some comments, and before you go, please do this. Click this big button where I'm offering my free optimal audiobook where I show you simple, easy steps how to improve your hormones, energy, vitality, and kick ass. Till then, my friends, have a great day. Catch you tomorrow. Cheers.